Hey everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back from the video of Suzer and we're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and discussed our future plans with Rumberg, future alliances with, uh, with whoever we want as the neighbors and stuff like that. Uh, mostly, the video before that we went for Lesbia for economic wise. But I think uh, we might either go for Wellen right here. Uh, because of economic uh, situations or I know that because they are offering an alliance against Rumberg altogether uh, We'll see how it goes right now. We've got a lot of details happening right here So recession it's farmers again over Lachavin, which is not good uh, Over here. What's happening? Narble reports lack of hospitals. So we got uh, we're lacking has to uh, hospitals You're gonna lack a lot more than that once they start invading my guy, but that's just me uh, over here in Sarna, bloodish resistant in sanctuaries. Okay, and last but not least, actually not the last one. Communist books burn in Baren. All right, interesting. And we also have this right here. So young swords and NP uh, NFP flags burnt. So a lot of instability is still going on around the corners. Uh, we only have one of each, and our economy is stabilizing to three, but. Still, I really want it to go up. I need it to go up right now. It seems like there's two newspaper that has basically gone down or something. School poisoning in Ribble? Poisoning? The hell? Uh, radicals? Time for women to stand up? Interesting. Uh, economists upcoming government budget changes? You guys can read all of this if you want in your own free time. I'm gonna put back right here. If you guys want to read all of this, right? Uh, go ahead and read it. It doesn't really matter to me though. I'm not gonna read it. It takes too much time uh, Van Houten blames Valsgren for the missing fishing vessel uh, vessel. This is escalating quite uh, Quickly right here boys. It's gonna be a war between these guys as well All right, so let's see old swords. What's gonna happen residents of the president. So we're going back home it was a Saturday afternoon my first break from work in uh, from uh, work in what felt like years and the weather couldn't have been more perfect, trying to keep my mind off the upheaval spark by the circus assassination. I lit the backyard grill. Monica and Dina were out shopping uh, for craft supplies and not giving the staff the day off. Uh, it was just myself and Frank at home. I wasn't sure how I felt uh, about me at the moment, uh, how he felt about me, but I didn't know how he felt about barbecued ribs our cook had left some uh, marinating in the refrigerator. Sure enough, as soon as Frank glimpsed the grill and the meat, he stepped outside to join me. Well, look who finally is out of his room. Well, come spend some quality time with your old man, have you? Sure, if you can spare a few minutes of uh, out of your busy schedule. Children who talk back, nope. Look, son, I'm preoccupied with matters of national importance. I, I'm sorry, I know I haven't been around very uh, often lately, but I'm happy to see you now. I'm just gonna say, you know what? I I'm preoccupied, alright? I've got other things to do in my life. Surely you can understand I'm preoccupied, for Christ's sake. Yes, Mr. President, whatever you say, Mr. President. Okay, go give me that answer. Children who talk back. Uh, right now, nothing's more important than these ribs. We both chuckled. I turned the tent to the fire. Here, let me try. He grabbed the fan and started quickly waving it uh, over the coals. The fire roared uh, to life. He turned to look at me with a grin on his face as if he was expecting a praise. A uh, good job. Not bad, son. Not bad. Don't act like you've done something special. Well, say nothing. I'm just going to say not bad. Not bad. Thank you, sir. It is an utmost interest to fulfill our duties with precision. The greeting shall commence in exactly 1 minute and 32 seconds. This guy. That was a spot on impersonation of Lucian, who looked at each other for a second, then burst out laughing. I realized my throat was parched. There was a six pack of beer in the kitchen. Uh, not beer. Frank, can you get me a beer? Uh, why don't you bring us a couple of beers? Get up and grab a beer. You know what? I'm just going to get up and grab a beer. I'll, I'll let him go. There we go. I am turned to the grill. I opened it, sat down, and gazed out of the city skyline with my son. For a moment, my thoughts flashed back to my childhood and, and my relationship with my own father. Father, father was a hard-working man and always had our best interests in mind. Or at least, that's what he always said. But he had a temper and would lash out at my mother in fights I could hear by, uh, from my bedroom. By the time I was Frank's age, my uh, seldom spoke. 
Now that I was the president, I was facing more stress than my father ever had. I would have to work hard not to take my frustrations out of my family. I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry about that. Dad, can I ask you something? Go on. We have a family. We are family. You, you can ask anything. Wait for him to think about what to say. Uh, I'll just wait for him. It's just, I feel like there's so much you've been hiding from me. About your past and about what's going on right now. Like at dinner the night after the ball, you told me everything was under control, but it wasn't, was it? I know what uh, what happened in the 20s. We learned all about it in school. Now with the protests and the riots, it is going to be the same thing? Dad, is there going to be a civil war in Swordland? I don't know about a civil war, but an actual war? There is going to be one. Uh, no, I will not ever say nothing and avoid this question. I'm not going to avoid this question. I'm just going to say I hope not. You let out a sigh. But what was it like back then? Uncle Peter said the two of you went through a lot. I'm not a kid anymore, you can't tell me. Before I could gather my thoughts, the familiar images uh, started flashing before my eyes. Images of soldiers advancing towards me and my friends, weapons drawn, of people I knew, friends and neighbors, being drawn to streets and murdered uh, in hallways. Uh, the shocking grief on the faces of fathers, mothers and orphaned children. Those were dark times. Uh, those were dark times, my guy. It seems like it. But you're nearly a grown man. Let's talk about it. There we go. I'm not going to avoid the situation. I'll talk about it if he wants to talk about it. Sure. Uh, Frank leaned forward in his chair. His uh, eyes wide. Tell Frank about the coup of uh, 1927, boys. Let's do it. He was barely uh, no older than you are. Uh, and now, studying history of the Dare University of Culture, I was a freshman, excited and young. I just, uh, I just left the classroom to go home as I heard the sound of multiple vehicles approaching the campus gate. As they got closer, I realized they were military camouflage trucks and tanks carrying hundreds of soldiers. The same soldiers that were supposed to protect swords and citizens point their, pointed their guns at us. They immediately took control of the facilities. One of my friends asked what was going on and was arrested immediately. More people got uh, angry and gathered in protest. Frank kept listening at a shocked look on his face. Tell him that you ran for your life like a coward. Re uh, refrain from telling him about your quick escape. Well, I'm not going to refrain from anything. I'm going to tell him everything. The best thing to do when you're telling a story, your story, to your child or anybody is to actually tell the truth. You just tell them the truth. You tell them what happened for real. That's the best thing to do. Alright, so just uh, seeing the, the crowd gathering, I knew something was going to happen, something bad. I decided that it was impossible to go against our man and run away from the scene. Ran away from the scene. R uh, ran away from my friends who were getting, uh, getting arrested and shot, uh, and shot to save my own dear life like a coward. I won't say I'm a coward. I would think I'm a genius. Because wh why would I want to be arrested or shot at? That would be stupid. I think I, I was actually smart. Running away doesn't mean you're a coward, it just means you're smart. That's all it is. I still feel, I still feel my flight was justified, anyone would do the same. Uh, my uh, flight was shameful, no. It was justified, anyone would have done the same. No one could sleep that night because of gunshots and sounds of boost. I can't forget the screams of the day. We leaned back in his chair, his shoulders slumped heavily. Tell Frank about the Civil War. Alright, let's tell him about the Civil War uh, afterwards. It was right after my mother. I met, uh, I met your mother. We had both joined the same human rights groups to push for change of, after the coup. Eventually, I became convinced I wasn't doing any, uh, enough. So I joined the rain, uh, Red Youth. Tell uh, Frank about the clash. Then one night it happened. Two different factions in the army. One of them led by the fascists and the other by the socialists started fighting against each other. It was a bloodbath. Nowhere was safe. Frank shifted in the seats, visu uh, visibly uncom uncomfortable. So we organized a protest one day in the uh, support of Rickard. In our minds, he was the better of the two and a true socialist. Tell him that you ran away. Why, y'all keep running away? Refrain to tell him you escaped? No, I'm gonna tell him I'll run away. There we go. I paused for a moment before continuing. Soldiers Soldiers were waiting for us. I knew something was going to happen, something bad. I decided it was impossible to go against armed men once again, and I ran away. Years later, I still felt I was right. 
How could mere, mere civilians go against a fully trained army? Exactly. I'm not going to go up against a fucking AK or whatever. A, a goddamn uh, scar. You got to be, you got to be shaming me. Regardless how, uh, of how you their, just their cause was. Frank turned away, lost in his own thoughts. Alright, that's enough for today. It's okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked it, <laughs> you about it. But you wanted to know. So now you know how you feel about it, my guy. It's easy to say, I want to know everything. But once you know everything, is it still the same, uh, like, is it still the same situation? Are you still so inclined? Uh, I know I don't understand how easy my life is sometimes. One more thing, though. I know you that you joined Red Youth back then. Do you mind if I ask why? Yes, I do mind. No, I don't. The communist revolution for certain was and still is the only way. I had to survive somehow in the environment. I made a choice. No, communist revolution is the only way. Uh, I still the only way. Now, I might be the president, but I still believe in the communists. I still believe that is the only way to uh, reform a country properly, boys. Frank raised his eyebrows. His curiosity is still not satisfied, but sensing my reluctance to go on, he simply nodded. Sorry for bombarding you with questions. I know I can play sometimes, but my problems are nothing compared to what you went through. Well, there you go. That's why I'm telling boys. That's why I'm saying once your ch like once your child is old enough, start telling him about your life story. Start telling him about how you lived in every detail, in as much detail as possible, because that's the best way for your child to comprehend what you went through and for him to learn from that. That's a history lesson right there. He's got to learn somehow, and that is the best way to uh, to learn. All right. Well, one of the best way to learn is physically is doing himself mistakes. But I would prefer for him to actually get some stories so he doesn't have to make those mistakes in the first place. You know, it's it's easy as that. So I'm here to listen to them, no matter what they are. What problems? You damn right. Our generation will never understand. I'm not gonna say that. I sound like an old man right there. In my time. All right, so I, I'm here to listen to them, no matter what they are. Better uh, Before Frank could say anything else, I heard the front door unlock. Dina and Monica's voice uh, and the sounds of rustling shopping bags filled the house. All right, I'll be upstairs until dinner. Uh, he went in and dashed upstairs. I took a long sip from my beer, looking at the city and now setting the sun. Uh, all right, so I hope that, uh, that talking to Frank about my past had been the right decision. Part of me felt that some sort of burden had been lifted. Yeah, it is. It's good for both of us. But I had the same nightmares again that night. Or I guess I had nightmares and stuff. Well, it doesn't matter. At least I've got some... Like, my sh my shoulder has been lifted a little bit. So what's going on in uh, all, uh, all sorts? You were reports on reforms? The many members of USP led by uh, Calvin and the reformers wing of the party clarified the demands for the government in the party congress for the com upcoming constitutional reform. He started to he stated that the, without the ministry reforms, they won't be able to stand behind the new reform package. Well, we'll do what we can. Uh, manor industrial output concerns, 10% lower. And what about this prisoner riot in Intel Rock Prison? That's not good. That's really not good. All right, what's going on over here? So presidential visit to Norbel. All right, so that might not be the best time to visit Norbel. To be honest, this is the central point of the conflict between us and our neighbors right now but whatever i was trying to snow cover uh, or i was traveling to the snow covered city of narbel in the nargis region for the rural development forum organized by the ministry of health and ministry of the education the mountainous city of narbel had gritty tones to it it mostly regarded as one of the poorer cities in swordland its people were hardly and weary or hardy and weary even after the discovery of natural resources in the area, years of neglect by the central government were, were apparent on the buildings and the general infrastructure. Natural resources, namely gas and oil, were now under the control of Gassam, which elevated the corporation to a place of power. My task in, the for in this form was mainly symbolic. Fake smiles and handshakes with whole barons, meeting with local politicians, but most importantly of all, to make sure that Narbel does not feel like it was forgotten by the government. Exactly. Uh, the scene you so far, however, was a reflection of Narbel's neglect. 
Main roads to the city were not maintained well. There were uh, many bumps and empty discolored spots in the asphalt. I, I'm, uh, I'm seeing where they're getting at right here. They probably want me to spend some budget to, uh, to clear up the streets and actually clean up that city. But I don't have any budget to spare anymore. I, I, I spent it all on the highway project and on the uh, economic situation. So I, I don't have any money. Navigating and swerving to avoid the inconvenience and motorcade, uh, motorcade finally started nearing the city. As if my discomfort from the bumpy ride was apparent to him, Sergei rolled down the part, uh, partition window. We will be arriving at the Hotel West in a few minutes, sir. Thank you for letting me know. I uh, can't say it's been a comfortable ride. Well, good. Whatever gets out of here quickly. Well, thank you uh, for letting me know, I guess. Anytime. It's my duty. After uh, a moment, Sorge started to smile under his mustache. What's that smile for? I'm just gonna pretend not to notice. So I just wanted to say it's been a great. It has been great these last two months. As you know, my wife Susan recently gave birth to our son, and now my daughter just started a, at a very good high school in um, all sort. Well, great. Uh, uh, get ready, Sergey, before uh, because life is about to become a lot busier. Yeah. That's great news. I'm happy for you, my guy. I appreciate it, sir. Truly. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to afford a good private school if she scored less in the entrance exam. But I shouldn't have made my security get to me. Erica outsmarts me all the time. I am very proud to have a daughter like her. Well, I also hope that Dina will grow to be like her mother someday. So that means she must have taken the smarts after her mother. Whoa. I'm not going to say that. I do not value uh, insecurity in my employees. Uh, I'm just going to say I hope Dina is the same. I'm sure she will, sir. After all, she is the daughter of a lion and a lioness. My daughter looks up to the first lady for inspiration. And it's, just not, it's not just a limited uh, to my daughter, sir. She's an imp inspiration for almost all women in the country. But at the same time, it must be hard for the first lady as well. All this attention adjusting to this new uh, high-profile life and a husband that has great responsibility. Well, let's not talk about my family. It's hard for her, but it's hard for both of us, I guess. It must be, sir. We sometimes forget the important people in life between all the responsibility and rush. You know, those who we care for. Spare me your lecture, Sergei. I agree. Well, I, I agree. Sir, you can continue after a moment of silence. Have, you told, uh, have I told you, sir? We named my son George. Uh, the doctor said if he was uh, he was very healthy and think, uh, thankfully so is my wife. Why did you want another child? That's good. I uh, hope the hospitals are good, had a good service. Normally we would have been treated in one of the suburb suburban hospitals, but thanks to the uh, special coverage of the presidential staff, we were transferred to the Emerald State uh, Hospital. Uh, it's a great hospital. The equipment and the staff were exceptional. There we go. He cited. I already started thinking about their university education, especially Erica. I wanted to send her to a good private school, but with the current state of the economy, it's going to be hard for us. You know what? I can't pay for the education. I don't have any... No, I don't have personal wealth left. We will fix the economy one way or another. It's hard for everyone, my guy. It's, it really is. If anyone can fix the economy, uh, that's you, Mr. President. The car hit a, a major pot... Uh, pothole in a bump which lifted us into our seats for a second instead of talking get you drive more carefully it's unacceptable we need an inv uh, to invest in the infrastructure here are you fine i'm just going to say are you fine yes sir i hope the car is fine the motorcade became approach uh began approaching the hotel the hotel west was supposedly the best hotel in Arbel. the large 25 story main buildings was undoubtedly one of the taller and more ex expensive buildings in the city it towered one of the uh, over the nearby slums and have been a target for protests when it was first built. A crowd was gathered in front of the hotel with the welcoming committee at, uh, at its center. As we approached the red carpet uh, carpeted entrance, uh, I could see the mayor of Norbel and his top uh, uh, aides. Sergey got out of the car and opened the door. He bowed his head respectfully and gestured towards the entrance. Exit the vehicle. Thank you. See you later, uh, Sergey. There we go. Thank you, sir. Likewise, as soon as I left the vehicle, the fresh air of Norbel filled my lungs. Almost immediately, everyone present uh, present in the crowd flocked over me, uh, over to me with an excessive display of courtesy. 
smiles and handshakes while I don't the mask of a politician. A mask that I was very used to. Alright, so I just visited Norbel, is that it? We still got some couple of reports here and there. The highway project is going very uh, good, boys. It's actually building pretty fast. I like that. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Youngster suspected of uh, terror attack. And we got uh, reports on reforms. Frank Richter, leader of uh, the opposition party, recently outlined the demands for the reform. He declared them uh, that without the ampliation of term limits and limited decrees, it would be very difficult for him and his party to stand behind the reform package. Look, I do want term limits. Don't worry about it. We'll, uh... Actually, term limits, I don't know if I want it. I, I don't know, boys. We'll see. Alright, so City Hall, Norbell. I arrived at the meeting room for my talk uh, with Saria and Pascal. Before beginning, I, take, uh, I took a moment to appreciate the view from the balcony. It meant mountains of Norbell were completely covered with snow. While I was mesmerized by the scenery, Pascal uh, walked up to me. Was that the, the Ministry of Health? Okay. Mi my Minister of Health was, ironically, somewhat poorly, uh, poorly. Having gained a few pounds since his break, uh, breakthrough as a best-selling writer, but his other authority on the social affairs could not be questioned. Such a spectacular view. Sierra Walder, the Minister of Education, joined, on, uh, joined us on the balcony. Dressed as a, in a sky blue pantsuit, her preference for trousers over dresses had uh, made her the subject of much palace gossip, but it didn't seem to bother her in the slightest. It's fine for me. Uh, spectacular indeed, but if you took, if you look at the oppos opposite direction, you will see what Seoul's decades of neglect did to the city. Most of the people living in Arbel are workers, farmers, and their wives and children. They're breaking their backs for close to no pay, all thanks to greedy corporations. My intention is to help the working class. Yeah, I want to help the working class. I'm glad we see eye to eye on the issue. If you look past the view, you can see the real problems. The real problems like poverty. Pascal nodded gravely. This was a subject he, quite knew, he knew quite a bit about himself. His best known books were about the plight of sort of less fortunate, drawing from his own past growing up in squalor. Well put, Mr. Walda. I don't need to tell you about my wife, uh, my own experiences with poverty. I sh I'm sure you uh, you have similar stories. Am I right, Mr. President? We all have all gone through difficult times. Uh, we knew less fortunate families, even though we belong to the middle class ourselves. Well, we have all gone through difficult times. True, but some uh, some lives are more difficult than others. Like our war, uh, like ours was, and still is for hundreds of thousands in uh, Swordland. You don't have to um, to have been born poor to sympathize with the plight of the emperor, uh, impoverished. Much as you don't have to have been born a woman to recognize Sutherland's need for parity amongst the sexes. Parity among the sexes shouldn't be our first priority. Look at how many high-ranking female uh, politicians our country has. Appearances can be deceiving, Pascal. Her voice uh, sounded bitter. Think about how Lilith's Got, uh, got to her current position. I don't necessarily believe the rumors about her and Saul, but she never could have risen so high if she didn't parrot his, uh, uh, his cause. Gloria Tory. It is an accident that the first female assembly speaker is such a staunch conservative? And there was uh, uh, Alfonso's habit of promoting women to prominent uh, positions to give sort of a progressive sheen uh, with, uh, while accomplishing nothing in reality. While women in places like Norbel are denied any opportunity to advance, the government can use a handful of poly female politicians for, for, from wealthy families, myself included, to pretend their, uh, their only obstacle to success is, the, uh, one, uh, lack, is their own lack of initiative. Meanwhile, those of us who don't uh, use our clout to help people, man, uh, uh, powerful men stay in power are denigrated as uh, angry spinsters. I ask you, Mr. President, does anyone care that your strategist, Mr. Galati, doesn't have a wife? What does I have, have to do with anything? All right, you gotta chill, Sierra, because I don't, I, I won't be getting into personal affairs like that. Plus, my Minister of Health, Mr. Pascal, is right about the female situation. It is not our type, top priority. All right, economy is and will always be. Forget about the goddamn civil rights for a second, for Christ's sake. 
I've been wondering about that actually. Uh, leave Lucian out of this. Uh, you we uh, you veered off topic, Miss Walda. I agree with you completely. I've been wondering about that actually. Yeah, I think you veered off topic, and I think you gotta stay on topic right here because Mr. Galadia has nothing to do with whatever you were talking about. Mr. Binnywell asked, I answer. As I was saying, isn't it about time all, all sorts address this country's real issues? Rather than bowing to the uh, wishes of the ox and fearmongers in the establishment, and diverting yet more resources to the military and law enforcement. Our welfare, healthcare, and education system have been decaying since the recession. Switzerland's poor communities are losing health, hope. Hopelessness and a lack of opportunities can drive people to extreme solutions. We're seeing increased crime, domestic uh, violence, and yet. And yes, rising inequality between man and woman. Lida's grief will take care of crime. She is an expert on the subject. Uh, those issues must be tackled from different directions. We need to engage it uh, holistically. If only we could stop the recession, create jobs, and growth. Well, the capital must be prioritized towards uh, must uh, be prioritized towards the resources that matter the most. I'm not going to say that. I think it should be cleared out for everyone. Uh, if only we could stop the recession. Uh, those issues must be tackled from dire direct, uh, different directions, boys. I think it's the best way. I'm planning to help by using an increased, increased budget to uh, improve the quality of healthcare. That could prove useful, but we need to be doing a lot more. Education has, uh, has similar issues. There is another subject I want to mention. I had been uh, I have been working on improving the rights of workers in our country and I have proposed a draft uh, draft bill that is currently being reviewed by our party. Uh, Mr. Clavin has already backed me and given his support Sorden has, uh, has fallen behind most countries on this subject and it is my responsibility to ensure that it is not the case. I agree we need to improve the senators. There is always room for improvement and it's good to hear that you are pushing for it. Uh, we shouldn't upset the businessmen. Uh, sounds like it's a costly bill for such a low priority issue. I agree. We need well. There's always room for improvement, I guess. Appreciate the kind words, Mr. President. I will not let you down. It is also a matter of life and death. Every decade, we hear of some horrific accident due to employers' disregard for their workers' safety. So, would would you back the bill when it arrives on your desk, Mr. President? I would be very interested in supporting it once it uh, it is finished. To make the decision, I would uh, I would need to evaluate the contents in detail, my guy. Yeah, I would need to evaluate the contents. Understandable. You will receive all the sessions in outline. It is getting a little cold out here. Let's uh, head inside and continue our discussion. We headed back inside. The meeting room was already prepared for state businesses. A small gift from each of us has been placed on the table by the municipality. We took our seats. We'll, uh, let's start uh, with your health overview, uh, Pascal. As you wish, Sorden has a free healthcare system, except for a few private hospitals operating under it. Most of the populace receives adequate treatment. Health issues prominently appear in rural areas due to the lack of quality services. I'm doing my best to ensure that the citizens of all ages receive the best uh, healthcare they can. I also personally want to solve the high infant and uh, maternal mortality problem. Yeah, that is a problem. How many doctors and nurses are employed? How many hospitals beds uh, are there per, uh, per 10,000 citizens? Uh, what's the life uh, expectancy? Our life expectancy is 65 years and the infant uh, mortality rate is a worrying 85 per, uh, per 1,000 birth. While our maternal mortality is a 90 per 1,000. Okay. Well, uh, be assured that we are doing everything we can to save mothers and their newborn. Those numbers are saddening indeed. Uh, I agree. We, uh, we must do everything we can. Uh, we are working very hard on improving the quality of the services. How many doctors do we have? Uh, how many hospital beds do we have? There are 10, of t uh, 10 beds per 10,000 citizens, which is a very good number according to uh, our co uh, comparison with our other neighbors. We see a low number of the in the country of Agnola and Willen, but obviously can't match Lesbia and Vasman. 
and no land rather than our other countries to take as standards but it is good to know we aren't in a, a huge health crisis all right that's good so we're not in a health crisis we got enough beds uh, many uh, doctors and nurses we have that amount okay working for the ministry of health this is a high number what i think is i don't want to be rude but out of those numbers how many are in uh, urban and rural areas let's not interrupt each other please that's not a problem the number of doctors per thousand uh, ten thousand citizens is far lower in rural areas compared to urban uh, areas treatment time is still too high due to the lower number of doctors in rural which ge uh, get barely any proper coverage well thank you uh, your in-depth briefing is much appreciated so I feel like we're doing all right in health wise, although it's not like spared equally. It's not in the right places equally. It's more rural than urban. I still think we're doing pretty all right. We got the resources. It's just not spared equally. So that's all it is. I want to hear education system. What's going on? Uh, Sardish education is free. Nice. Uh, but we have a very outdated system that I want to reform. The other important issue is the lack of access to education in rural areas, especially for young girls. The administration has the power to solve both problems. My highest priority is to get enough funding to be able to build schools in rural areas while I cleanse our, our educational system of its nationalistic indoctrination and sexist teaching. Well, how many students and teachers do we have? Currently, there are about 5 million students, 3 million in primary education, 1 million in secondary, and 1 million in tertiary. Uh, there are only that amount of teachers. So then it's a full, it's full of young and bright minds. Uh, we should keep striving to make education available for everyone. Exactly. It's very important that everyone is educated. I think there, uh, there needs to be a change in the way of thought. We should help children to the question uh, and educate uh, themselves. Schools are still important, my girl. I do agree that universities and, uh, and, and colleges are not important. You're not that important at that point in your life you can really question yourself and educate yourself if you truly want to it's definitely possible to do it you don't need school at that point but secondary tertiary and primary are very important these are the ones you really want to push towards these are very important because just basic education is very important what is the literacy rate of uh, Sorlin by the way is there, can everybody re read? Uh, the rate is a 80%. Ooh, that's not good. All right, it could be better. It could be worse, but still. There's a very good indi indicator for the future growth, but it needs to increase. It is also far lower among girls than boys. If I remember correctly, the most lit illiterate areas are Bergia and England. Okay. This, that is correct, although Lachevin uh, skews the statics for, uh, statistics for Nargis's region which also has a vast number of illiterate citizens. There, uh, this underlines my point of the lack of access to education. Tell me about the differences between urban and rural education. Yeah, what's the difference between the two of them? Urban areas have three times the number of schools per 10,000 people compared to rural areas. Rural areas also suffers from a lack of teachers. Well, I can imagine teachers not preferring desolate areas. Uh, salaries for teachers are very low here. We need to increase their, uh, their pay to give them more incentive. All right, thank you. Uh, I believe that's everything. Sarah stood up and moved towards. She took a deep breath. What is it? I hope both of you are, are, are preparing your reforms plans for improvement. Uh, she ignored my statement. Look at this, Look at this impoverished city. The streets full of potholes. The hospital barely functional, the school half open. This is not just about Solon or even Alfonso failing. This decay in Solon's forgotten regions have been going on for many decades due to structural corruption, which is fueled by capitalism. Tarkin Sol did more for the country than any of us. Let's not get in an ideological debate. We need to focus on the issue. We are here to change that trend and provide for the people. Yeah, I'm here to provide for the people. Don't worry about it. Uh, that remains to be seen. I'm working on the new education system and your support will be welcome. Sarah uh, sat back down and sighed. One way or another, we need to transform greed and unchecked capitalism uh, will not magically provide for the people. 
Tell me about your plans. What are you working on towards, Pascal? I personally want to improve the low quality of healthcare in the rural areas. So I created draft plans to increase the salary of doctors and to upgrade the equipment of the hospitals. I can do more with an increased budget. Additionally, a privatization plan to promote uh, private investments in the healthcare system could allow extra funds. Isn't access to healthcare in rural areas an issue? Uh, quality of healthcare is uh, in less fortunate areas matters uh, more. Well, I'm just going to say uh, that instead. Access is an issue, but not as critical as the quality in these areas. The lack of experienced personals and equipment cause bad treatment, the treatment resulting in many deaths. I do hope to create a competition and increase the quality of healthcare with the privatization effort. A private healthcare system would increase the price of treatment and make access worse for the average citizen. Yeah, I don't want a private healthcare. Private healthcare is like the Americans and it's garbage. Nobody can pay for uh, for hospitals. I don't want, want that. I want to keep the healthcare free as much as possible. I want everyone to have access to it. The decision to not promote more, more state control would cost more uh, the, the people dearly. Exactly. Tell me about your plans, Saira. My plans require an increase on the government budget. I am to solve the problem where uh, we highlighted with the allocated money. By, by building schools in the less in these less fortunate rural areas and though and through fundamental changes in the uh, in the education system i will unlock the potential of all of our children boys and girls alike improving the situation in rural areas and the uh, good idea our election mandate was to improve education we will deliver on this exactly i i mean i did promise to improve the education so i'm not going to work on it boys obviously uh, this brings hope to the table, which needs to be followed by action. There's much to be done. If we are giving the budget, there will be opportunities to implant policies that push education to the next level. Wouldn't the promotion of private ed education help create additional funds? Yes, but at what cost? I'm not a supporter of the private sector in the education, because at the end of the day, they are focused on profit first. My expectations for our government is that we understand and focus on the needs of the people. Uh, we are elected representatives of our people and we will priority prioritize their needs, exactly. Uh, that's reassuring to hear. I don't want to sound cynical, but almost all governments keep making the same promises. We must show we are different through our actions. I think we covered all the necessary obje uh, subjects. Thank you for your time. I do hope we won't repeat the same mistakes. Alright, so the ministers left and attended of um, other official businesses in the city. Uh, the weather was relatively cold, but I didn't keep a group of USP supporters from coming out to cheer us on the streets. Just by looking at the citizens' attire, it was easy to understand the current state, uh, state of Nairbel. Some people were wearing clothes a few sizes too large. Some kids uh, did not even have shoes. Yet there was hope in, this, uh, in their eyes. They were excited to see their president in their city. But well, that was that for the video, boys. So... Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm definitely going to help out the education. It is part of my promises. Uh, we, I want to help out the uh, like the healthcare, but the healthcare is good. It's fine as it is already. So we don't really need to change anything about it. So I'm going to leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.